been up to since our last update? We've got an Uber over to a place called the Dubrovnik Beer Company, um, which is about three kilometres outside of the town. It's um, near the port, actually, where we um, got off the ferry from Split. So we got uh, we got an Uber. It would have been about 40 minutes to walk, so a little bit far. Yeah. The Uber was only like five pounds, so pretty good value. Um, and yeah, we had a couple of craft beers each, didn't we? Yeah, we sat, sat next to these steel drums, and it, yeah, it was nice. You got a t-shirt. I got a t-shirt, yeah. And, uh, oh, we found a cat shop. We were looking for this earlier. Might have to go in here in a second. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 H
Um, so we might have a look at that. We'll see how the day goes. Yeah, on. I think we're going to do that. There's um, a couple of local kind of cakes that I want to try as well. There's um, a cream pie that's really local to the area that looks awesome. So I want to try and track that down. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it for today. We'll see how the day goes. Find the seal? You mean like a like a royal yeah, seal? Yeah, like no, like an animal, right? So I found a royal seal. <laughs> an animal? Yeah. Okay. What about that rock? That kind of looks like a seal. <laughs> what rock? Look, it's got like an eye and a mouth and like Are you being serious? Yeah, don't you think it looks like a seal? Do you think it looks like a seal? I think it looks like a seal. Well, you, you got any better suggestions? I'm going to stick with my royal seal. Yeah, seal that's theory. Boring. <laughs> Definitely that seal rock over there. The invisible man. Can you find him? No, he... no he's invisible. That's the problem. Yeah, how we get back now. It's uh, a two-way road. I have no idea. I don't even think it was a one-way road. <laughs> I thought he was going to run over that kid. I was amazed he got past that van that was parked there. Must have only had like a centimetre to spare either side. So here, let's see what there is to do. sandwiches they were absolutely huge so we've been pretty much stuffed all day um, we managed to find the kotor cream pie uh, which we brought back here to eat and that was really really good we shared a slice um, it was like uh, layers of really kind of thin pastry um, like really flaky thin pastry uh, alternated with like a really sweet but light kind of cream filling. It, it looked like it would be heavy, but it wasn't at all. It was actually quite light. Um, we kind of just chilled out at the apartment for a bit and then we went back into town. We got the bus to Perast. Uh, we got the local bus, which was one euro each, uh, each way. It took about, what, 20 minutes maybe? Yeah. To get there. And um, we only spent about an hour there because the boats to the islands were no longer running because it was about seven o'clock by the time we got there. and. There wasn't a lot going on, but it was pretty and it was nice just to kind of take a walk along the, the seafront and uh, yeah, just have a sort of chilled walk. Um, nice to kind of not be in the Koto town labyrinth because I think we were both getting a little bit tired towards the end of all the, I don't know, the dead ends and the twisty turny streets and things like that. And we grabbed another kind of local cake. Um, Parast cake, and I've just had like one tiny mouthful of it just to try it, and it's really, really good. I think it's got almonds and orange. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what the man said. 
but again, like really local cake. Um, really looking forward to trying the rest of it. Um, we weren't super hungry for dinner after the big lunch we had, so we just grabbed some snacks from the supermarket. So tomorrow we're gonna have an early start. We're gonna climb the um, the walls up to the fortress. We wanna kind of be setting off at about eight o'clock. Um, it's gonna take about two hours to get up to the top and back down again. So we wanna do that before it gets too hot. And then yeah, probably come back here, check out, um, grab some lunch, and then we're gonna be heading off to the bus station. We are getting the bus to a town called Bar, which is a couple of hours uh, south. And from there, if all goes to plan, we are going to be getting the overnight train to Belgrade. we did it <laughs> at the beginning of the day not in the middle of the day because it was it was quite difficult um, in places but glad we did it yeah the views were good yeah. I'd wear sensible shoes definitely <laughs> yeah we've kind of got trainers that are a little bit slippy not loads of grip on the the, the stones are like really smooth and shiny so yeah. it's easy to slip anyway we're at this um, cafe bar now it's called Electrica and um, I've got this coffee Hello, with wherever charcoal in it basically um, it's like a an old traditional coffee I think um, but this is now the only place in Kotor that's still serving it so I really want to try it um, I just said to David it tastes a little bit like somebody's put their cigarette out in your coffee <laughs> I mean that's, that's kind of like what happens we watch the guy like uh, set fire to the charcoal yeah, and then you have to let it sit for two minutes in the coffee put it out in your drink yeah. But it's nice. It's a bit like a Turkish coffee if you've tried that. It's like kind of really thick, kind of gritty, strong coffee. But it is nice. I'm glad, the, glad that I've tried it. And I went for a latte. <laughs> so I'm a whim. I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> though. Right. So we are at the bus station in Kotor. So as part of our trip to Belgrade, the first step of the journey is to actually get to the town of Bar, which is where the train starts from. So we're about to grab a bus. It's going to take us about two hours to get there. And then we'll uh, hopefully be able to go between from there. She was like chatting to her colleague for ages, she was on the computer and then she was on the <laughs> phone. And I was just like, oh my god, is there a problem? Like, what's going on here? Um, but yeah, after much uh, 
tapping and chatting away and stuff. We managed to get our tickets. We've got like a two person. I think we've got like a cabin to ourselves basically. Uh, it would have been like 10 euros cheaper to share with another person, but I thought oh, it's not really worth it, you know, just to save five euros each. Um, so we've got a couple of hours before we set off on the train. Um, yeah, this was 78 euros for two of us, so it's not too bad. We'll see what it's like anyway once, uh, once the train arrives. Hey, you're right. I made myself at home already. It uh, technically it's a two birth. Well, I think technically it's three, but they've sold it as two. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't want to be in this kind of mini bunk at the top. I'm going to get comfy for the next 12 hours. 12 hours, good. I think we're probably the only ones who actually wanted to go to the National Bank of Serbia today. Well, you say we, but that's just me. <laughs> Can I set the alarm with David? We'll get thrown out of the country. Park. It's called Tasmaidan. Tashmaidan. Tashmaidan Park. It's in the middle of Belgrade. There's um, a church. I think it's Saint Mark's at the end that we're heading for. 
So this park seems to be where all the Belgraders come on a Saturday to chill out and bring their kids and stuff. Helps that it's really nice weather today. Look at this ladybird ride over here. Like when I was a kid, I used to go on these all the time. Like when I, um, when I would come to these kind of places. Super cute. I always used to like to go on the red ladybird. I don't know why. I like the red more than the yellow. I like the yellow too. I like them both, but yeah, I was definitely a red, a red ladybird girl. So since we got here, I've been a little bit obsessed with these like tram things. Oh, it's moving. They have these like really old trams that look like they're from about 1970. Aren't they cool though? And I keep trying to get pictures and stuff of them and they keep keep trying to get away from me. Look at that guy on this bus with his tuna. The tuna looks really sad. This is why I'm nearly a vegetarian. So there seems to be some kind of like event on today. Um, not like a marathon because I guess that's not really COVID safe but um, I don't know, they kind of seem to be encouraging people to walk, use their scooters. Um, yeah, like a mobility kind of event. So they've closed off all the roads, so it feels really weird just to be like walking down the middle of this street with no, you know, concern for any traffic or anything like that. Um, and there was like a big, what was it we saw earlier in the main square? Oh, uh, like a... Um... There's a little event going on where they were giving out lots of uh, free samples. It seems to be sponsored by some kind of radio station. Yeah, because the music was super loud. There was like J-Lo and Pitbull and that kind of stuff blaring out. Um, and we got some freebies. We got some free... Um, got some what free are the biscuits called? Nice, and some free biscuits that begin with an ad. Yeah, what are they called? Plasma. Plasma, yeah, I've heard of these. I think these are a Serbian biscuit, so... We'll probably save those for our bus ride to Skopje, I think. That might be a nice little snack on the long bus journey. We're just sitting down for lunch. We are at Ferdinand Needle. Um, which is a very was mentioned in the Lonely Planet book um, and online. Came up quite frequently. I think we sell like little donuts. Not donuts, but like dumplings, I guess, with different fillings. So we've got two savoury, like spinach and mozzarella, and I think mine's got feta and olives and some And then two sweet ones, pistachio and mushroom. So give these a go. I'm going to try and handle for the very first time. Yeah, this one's yeah. spinach and mozzarella. Yeah, And the sauce is chilli, it's really good. <laughs> I've already dug into mine, so mine was the feta, um, olive and sun-dried tomato. Is there sauce on that? <laughs> that is really nice. David normally just describes food as okay and all right, so anything more than that, you know it's good. Yeah, go and review from me, I'm happy to do Look at this tiny blackcurrant. <laughs> so cute. Mm. I'm not even sure that was a real blackcurrant. I think it was like a, a sweet. <laughs> this one's quite thick. Ooh. Mm. This looks good. What's meant to be in it again? Uh, passion fruit, she said, and I'm guessing blackberries. <laughs> it's nice though. Does it taste like passion fruit? Yeah, it just tastes like lilt. <laughs> <laughs> lilt. You know, like pineapple -y. Yeah, a bit of passion fruit. Okay, I can't wait. I need to get into mine now.
awesome. It was like a, a flatbread that we had with cheese and egg and it was kind of mixed together in like a Welsh rabbit kind of texture. It was really delicious. I don't think we're going to need any lunch now. Um, so our next job now is to um, go to the bus station. Uh, we're planning on getting the bus to Skopje in uh, Macedonia. We need to see if the bus that we're planning to get is still running because there's no sign of it online anymore. Uh, it seems to have disappeared off all the ticket websites. And David phoned up yesterday to the bus station to ask if there were any buses running today. And the lady said there's one at 8.30 tonight which gets into Skopje at like 5.30 in the morning. So we're on our way down there basically to see if this information is correct and whether we can buy tickets. If not, it's going to be like a, a last minute flight I think. So wish us luck. We made it. We made it. That's a moment of truth. <laughs> yeah, I almost fell over. <laughs> Hi there. Hello. Um, is there any buses to Skopje today? 8.30. 8.30 tonight? Every day. Every day. And can, where can we buy the tickets? Can we buy them from her? OK, thank you. Hello. Um, can we get a bus to Skopje tonight? This woman. Hi there. Can we get two tickets for the bus to Skopje tonight? I have Dina's. Dina's, uh, no card? No card. No card. Alright, we've got the tickets. Yay! We're facing Skopje on them, 8.30 tonight. So I guess we'll just come back here later and have the best. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Peanut butter with um, chocolate covered pretzel. Peanut butter, cool. So we've tried, this is the first ice cream shop we've been to since we've been on this trip. Uh, we got some ice cream in Dubrovnik, which was amazing. I had um, 
I don't remember. <laughs> Check the video. Well, we had white chocolate, didn't we? We had white uh, chocolate, but it wasn't as good. It didn't have the gooey kind of chocolate that the other place had. Yeah, we'll see what this is like.